Hey, I'm Josh with Dental Claim Support. Uh, today I want to talk about how to handle your perio patients from the initial visit all the way to the three month recall um, and also how to get as much reimbursement from insurance as possible. Uh, this is a good topic to talk about because we as a company see it done differently throughout the United States and all the various offices that we perform the billing for. Um, it's going to start initially with a first visit from a patient. Usually this patient has not come into your office before. So initially you're going to notice that this patient has heavy plaque and calculus buildup. This is when you're going to perform a debridement. Now only send the debridement to insurance. Um, this is the D4355. You're not going to send a comprehensive eval to the insurance because technically you can't do it. That's the point of a debridement is there is so much calculus and plaque buildup that you cannot actually do a comprehensive eval. Insurance knows this, therefore if you send both the comp eval as well as the debridement to insurance, they'll probably be combined and one procedure will be paid on, uh, either the comp eval or the debridement, uh, but not both. Uh, secondly, after the debridement, you want to bring the patient back around a week later after they've healed a little bit in order to get your comp eval done as well as your x-rays. Um, this is going to tell you if this patient is a healthy patient or a patient that has periodontal disease. If they're a healthy patient, start them on a six month recall with prophylaxis. If they are a periodontal patient, you're going to want to basically educate the patient on what they have and why they have it and the treatment that is necessary in order to continue with the patient. You're going to want to bring them back for scaling and replanning. Now, I would bring the patient back for only two quads uh, the first time and two quads either a week after or a few days after. The reason behind this is every insurance that we're starting to see is starting to only pay for two quadrants of scale and replanning in the same day. If you do more than two quads, a lot of times they're just combined to only paying two quads, and sometimes we see only one quad paid on. So if you just do the two quads in the same day, it should be covered if the patient qualifies for the periodontal disease, and if you bring the patient back for the other two quads, that'll be covered as well. Uh, once the patient ends up coming back um, for perio maintenance, you want to schedule this perio maintenance out at least a month out. Um, insurance won't pay for a perio maintenance if it's done too close in proximity to the scaling and root plan. Um, some insurances are three months, some insurances are one month. So it's good to ask this before you send off this insurance claim. Um, so just to recap, debridement first, only send the debridement. When the patient comes back, perform the comp eval as well as uh, take your x-rays. Find out if the patient is healthy or has periodontal disease. Then schedule the scaling and root planning, two quads only on each single day. I hope this helps and everybody have a great day. Thanks.